What's up, y'all? Another Bible study, Bible reading, Romans 12. Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. In all our being, we got to put to death the deeds of the body. We can't, anything that, that's against God, anything, see the Holy Spirit lives in us. And if we defile ourselves in any way, sexually, even with things we eat and put in our body, I myself, I know I need to quit smoking cigarettes. That's one thing that I'm working on, that God's going to get me through. He got me through a lot of other things that I was on, but I'm still smoking cigarettes. And I don't believe that's a sin, but I know I need to quit. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Do not be conformed to the world. Don't have your mind on worldly things. Don't live like the rest of the world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to have our mind on heavenly things. Have our mind on the things above, the things of God. By doing that so we may prove what the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. The will of God is for us to believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus. And to change, be born again, and live for Him. For through the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, do not think more highly of himself than he ought to think. See, we can't be thinking highly of ourselves at all because there is nothing good in us. Anything good in us is from God and it's all glory to God. We got to give all glory to Him. And we can't be cocky with anything because every gift we have, every understanding we have is from God. But to think so as to have sound judgment as God has allotted to each a measure of faith. See, God doesn't say, "Don't judge." Or we have, we gotta have, we gotta judge with righteous judgment, sound judgment, because we don't know what another person understands or what another person is going through. Another person may be trying to follow God as much as we are. We can't condemn them for certain things because we don't know what that person is going through. There's been times in my life when a certain person has said something or done something and I kind of judge them in my heart. Not meaning to do any wrong in me. But then I realized they were going through something. And there was a reason they, they reacted to me a certain way. or A reason why they did something or said something. And I felt bad for it. Because I didn't know that. So we got to be careful when we judge. And we got to judge righteously. According to the will of God. According to the ways of God. According to the Bible. For just as we have many members in one body. See, we're all a part of the body of Christ, many members, one body, and Jesus is the head. And all the members do not have the same function. See, we, we're all doing different things for God. We're all using the gifts God gives us to serve Him in different ways. So we who are many 
are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. We're all family. We're all brothers and sisters. We're part of one. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, each is to exercise them accordingly. If prophecy, according to the proportion of his faith, the more faith you have, the more you're, you're going to be able to prophesy and tell people what's coming. The more faith you have, the more you have eyes to see and ears to hear, the more understanding you're going to have and the more you're going to be able to tell the people. If service, in his serving, or he who teaches, in his teaching, or he who exhorts, encourages, in his exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. And really we need to be doing all these things. But all, not all members of the body of Christ have the same job. We're all different parts of one body. And we're all doing different things for God, serving Him in different ways. And we need to support one another. Let love be without hypocrisy. Can't be hypocritical in in love or in anything we do. We need to stand strong in faith, stand strong on the rock, Jesus Christ, in the Word of God. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be, de be devoted to one another in brotherly love. We need to love one another. Give preference to one another in honor. We need to honor one another. Not lagging, not lagging behind in diligence. We need to be diligent. We need to be on it. After the ways of God. Loving one another in diligence. Honoring one another in diligence. Seeking after the ways of God with diligence. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope. Persevering in tribulation. See, we're going to go through a lot of things in our life as Christians, as true believers. We're going to go through a lot. But we need to keep pushing through, persevering through all the tribulations. Because we know what's on the other side. And God gives us the strength to get through. Devoted to prayer. We need to stay in prayer about everything. Talk to God about everything. Ask God to give you strength. Pray for the people around you to come to the Lord. Pray for the people around you to be edified, to come closer to the Lord, the ones that already know Him. Pray for understanding of the Scriptures. And pray that God will lead you and guide you into all truth and everything that He wants you to do. Contrib contributing to the needs of the saints. See, we need to be supporting one another, helping each other out as brothers and sisters in Christ. Practicing hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. A lot of people get persecuted and just get down, get upset. We need to rejoice when we're persecuted and bless those who persecute us. Love those who persecute us. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. And weep with those who weep. See, we need to be eye to eye. 
with our brothers and sisters in Christ on everything and be there to support them, whether it's, whether it's in re rejoicing or weeping. We need to be there and be understanding. Be of the same mind toward one another. Like I just said, eye to eye. Because we're one body. Do not be haughty in mind. Don't be cocky. Don't be arrogant, thinking you're better than anyone else. But associate with the lowly. The ones who are down. The ones that are going through things. Do not be wise in your own estimation. We can't think we're, we're wiser than anyone else. It's God that gives the wisdom. It's God that gives the understanding. It's not us. It's not in us. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. If someone does something wrong to us, we need to show love back. Not react the same way. If we react the same way, we're not showing the love of Christ. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. So they can see what is right. So they, they, they can see what we're standing for the truth. And they can see that God is in us. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. So we need to be at peace with all men. Love our enemies. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. You can't pay back evil for evil, or we're just living like the rest of the world. You gotta come overcome evil with good, and God will get us through anything we're going through. God will give us the strength to get through anything we're going through and the strength to repay good, repay evil with good, to love our enemies, to be at peace with all men, to not be offended when someone offends us, and to love them and show the love of Christ. That's what it's all about. That's the end of Romans 12. May God bless you guys.